and then get loud. <laughs> He's hilarious because I saw him in a, uh, the show. What are you talking about? How is that funny? He didn't even tell any jokes. Uh, if he didn't tell jokes, why was he laughing? Yeah, stand-up is so 20 years ago. Twitter's only three years ago. Check mine out. I've got 10,000 followers. I feel like we should wait to hear Adele's ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. Who's Adele? Just keep reading. Well, look, those are cute blurbs, Stewie, but I, I think I'm gonna put together a real act for real people. <laughs> Good luck. God, it's like I'm the only person in the house who gets social media. Peter, it's me. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go tell Chris something gross. Just come to bed. All right, fine, but I'm not gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna fat super hot. Uh, hey, who handles multimedia here? Because uh, I have a slide of the Capitol building that I'd like project. Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show, Archer? You watch that show, Archer? Here's that guy, Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show, Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Whoosh! <laughs> hey, so, um... You know, maybe it's me, but I kind of feel like we should wait to hear Adele's ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. <laughs> Oh, Lois, I slept great on your side of the bed. Oh, and I read your journal. Boy, you really hate P period G period. Peter, I'm Batrices. Duh! Look around and let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I have one. What percentage of Hayden Panettiere is dwarf? Well, you're the expert. Well, what do you think, Peter? Yeah, it seems good, but I won't know for sure until I have my evening tug. <laughs> okay, you guys have been great. Good night. Funny stuff. Hey, uh, Stewie, you, you, uh, you caught the show? You bloody thief! Is this dog bothering you, Stewie? What the hell? You couldn't find a real friend, so you built a robot? Oh, not a robot, Brian. He's a human mind model adaptive supercomputer. I've even programmed... Wow, didn't know we'd have to hear the whole song. You built a robot? This is pathetic, Stewie. You really must be desperate for friends. Oh, I'm desperate. Lyle, access Brian's phone. I am willing to take the old nasty plunge, if you know what I mean. I guess what I'm saying is, time to break in the new mattress, eh? Peter, it's brand new. I don't want to mess it up. Come on, we won't make a mess. When we're done, I'll grab you by the ankles and lift you up like a... ...isn't talk about it afterwards. Hello, fellow adult. I am clearly above the minimum height requirement and shall now ride your roller coaster for which you are an attendant. Yes, and I will operate this roller coaster. It's a picture of a male man wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> Just a silly thing. Thank you, Stewie. I drew you something as well. It's an urban plan for a workable Palestinian state. My word, this is very impressive. Yum, 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 yum. Hum, 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 hum. Well, wouldn't you know it. Chris and Lois doesn't want to mess it up. What kind of mattress did you get? I hope you did your homework, because you're going to spend a third of your life on that thing. I swear to God, Joe. Well, look, Peter, the answer is obvious. If Lois won't sleep with you on the new mattress, we just got to get your old mattress back. You don't have to have the card. You can just give them your phone number. Oh, really? Hey, thanks, man. Hey, Meg, I like your new boyfriend. Every pot finds a lid, huh? <laughs> have fun, you kids. And invading each other's personal space? That means they have Asperger's. The smartest mental impairment there is. Stewie, I'm afraid I no longer have time for a friend of your simple ways. I must ask you to leave. Yes, I'm sorry it took me so long, but I got the garlic blue cheese salad dressing you wanted. Does that mean I'm in the crew now? It does. If you drink the whole bottle while we watch. Um, okay. I'll go get another bottle and try again. <laughs> I bet the mall around here sucks. Uh, 
<laughs> now look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Ugh. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Instead, I am just the bang slab. Ah, damn it. We did get another one yesterday, but some fat ass blew out half the spring, so we put lunch on it. <gasps> My mattress! Hey, we found it! All right, let's get her out of here. Ted R. says this is where a piece of crap has to live. This is terrible. Those robots are not your friends. Yeah, well, at least they don't steal from me. Look, I'm really sorry I stole your jokes. It was a rotten thing to do. Thank you, Brian. Okay, let's wrap it up. I reserved this time to listen to Metallica and flex in the mirror. He's right, it's on the whiteboard. Because remember you coughed up all that pool water? Oh, Peter, you were so handsome. Lois, this mattress may be old and worn in, but so are we. And I wouldn't trade you in for anything. Boy, we're destroying them at the right time, Brian. I don't have enough iced tea for the correct ratio. It'll be too lemonade -y. They'll be furious. All right, so let's do it. Let's take them out. I'll warn you, it's not going to be easy. They're incredibly intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. Maybe we should keep the new mattress. Way ahead of you, Lois. I already dragged the old one out to the curb. Good. Okay, I'm going to go rub up against the basement door jam. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Well, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have... <laughs>